All protests both for and against Israel have taken place on college campuses across the U.S. at several universities. Students, professors, and administrators have condemned Israel's attack on Palestinians in Gaza. Lawmakers and others are asking why so many young people are pointing fingers at Israel, even accusing them of war crimes. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales joins us now with more. Eric? Well, good evening, Tracy. Emotions are certainly running high on college campuses across the country. The nation hasn't seen these kinds of demonstrations or calls to action since the war protests during the Vietnam War in the 1960s. Some experts say that college students are being brainwashed by their professors to hate Jews. This is a natural outgrowth of a radical ideology that's being promoted on campus, uh, critical race theory. Jews inevitably get placed in the oppressor category in these schemes. And uh, so there is a strong anti-Semitic element in this ideology that's being promoted on campus. Many lawmakers agree. It's disgusting. The protests you're seeing now at many of our universities, you see the 31 groups from Harvard, for example, they're standing in solidarity with the Palestinians. It's 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 a, the, probably the clearest example yet of the moral, moral depravity in our university system. The killing of innocent children, the beheading of infants, the raping of women is somehow justified. That's what you're seeing. And I, I look at that and... I, I don't even know what to say. In his 40 years in higher education, Senator Tommy Tuberville, a former university football coach, tells me anti-Semitic teachers are influencing kids and young adults. I've seen indoctrination of our kids in the high school level, uh, now even down in the grade school level, and especially in higher education, in the colleges. Uh, a lot of these professors are white jobs. You know, they're communist. So what can be done? Congressman Larry Bouchon of Indiana tells me it starts at home. Well, you do what I did with my four kids, right? You sit down around the kitchen table, have dinner together, and talk about what's going on in their world and in their lives. And that's how this, this works. Parents should be engaged. We always were with our kids. The protests are beginning to affect the financial bottom line for some colleges and universities as wealthy donors have pledged to stop giving. I actually think this will be very effective at beginning to roll back um, uh, radical ideologies on campus. Just yesterday, Democratic Senator Chris Van Hollen of Maryland brought a resolution by Republican Josh Hawley condemning anti-Semitic speech on college campuses. Senator Van Hollen said that the resolution would, quote, smear all of the students who engage in these types of protests, potentially violating their First Amendment rights. Tracy. Well, Eric, uh, I understand the newest senator uh, is not running for re-election next year. Tell us more about that. That's right. Uh, California Democrat uh, LaFonza Butler, who was appointed to fill the seat by uh, the passing of the late Senator Dianne Feinstein, will not be seeking re-election in November. Senator Butler was sworn in earlier this month and made history as the first out-black lesbian to enter Congress. Tracy.